Hello everyone welcome to my bold and beautiful now channel. As always, this time I have appeared with the mysterious soap opera. So don't delay like and subscribe now and stay tuned. Finn and Sheila partake a loving grasp as further of her story emerges and Ivy comes on strong in Deacon's apartment, Sheila eats pizza as Finn whispers, we should take her to the sanitarium. Deacon says she has her own particular croaker. Looking after her. He gets that Finn is upset, he's too, but she's eating that pizza like she's going out of style. God, I missed that woman. Sheila pipes over, I missed you too. Both of you. She's dehydrated, not deaf. Sheila insists she's okay because she's safe and with her two favorite guys in the world. Cleric assures her she LL be her old tone in no time. Finn takes her hand and says Deacon's right, having you back is everything. At IL Giardino, Liam thinks it's great that Steffi joined him and Ivy. Steffi surprised her kinsman wanted her to join she allowed. She wanted Liam all to herself. Ivy muses, well, they say three's a crowd. Steffi asks if it was worth it. Ivy asks, what? Steffi says, flying all the way from Australia just to plant one on this Joe. Liam muses, well, this is delightful? Steffi asks the purpose of Ivy's trip. Her kinsman tells her she came to see another handsome man, her forefather. He looks great. Steffi says, yeah, he does. And supposedly you suppose Liam looks great as well. Liam wants to change the subject, but Ivy says before the do, it's been a long time since they've e seen each other, but he's the same beautiful man outside and out that she remembers. Kind, minding, and sexy as hell. Steffi grabs her glass of wine and drinks pointedly. Ivy declares if she lived there, she'd be knocking down Liam's door to date him. Steffi whispers, wow. In Deacon's apartment, Finn checks Sheila's palpitation and she says she feels weak. Finn wants to take her to the sanitarium, but Sheila thinks being with Cleric will help her get better briskly. Cleric cracks that she looks a lot better than when they set up her. Finn asks his birth mama what happened. She agonizes, sugar happed. Sugar happed. Sheila does not understand how they knew about sugar. Deacon explains that Lauren Fenmore told him about her. They can get into the specifics latterly. Finn wonders how Sugar was suitable to do what she did without anyone knowing. Sheila says it all started with the textbook dispatches. She should have ignored them, but it would end have stopped her anyway. She went to meet her a couple of times, but she no way showed up. Also one day she was running errands and Sugar kidnapped her and took her to that storehouse to chain her up. Sugar was full of rage and had been staying for this day, which she had imagined and planned. She wanted vengeance. In I.L. Giardino, Ivy caresses Liam's shoulder and muses, perhaps I am being too forward. Steffi snarks, you suppose? Ivy doesn't see why she needs to hide her passions. She thinks she and Liam would be amazing together. Steffi holds up her hands, okay, 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 yeah, he's remarkable, he's amazing, he's all the effects he's also my son's father. She tells Liam they need to go see Kelly. Ivy rubs Liam's back and kisses him again. Steffi gops, okay, on that note Liam stammers as Ivy hugs him and takes her leave. Steffi muses that being subtle is surely not her strong suit. Liam sits back down as Steffi laughs and shrugs, well, neither is mine. Us forester women. You got ta love it. Liam shoots her a look and abductions her glass of wine down. She laughs, hey. In Deacon's apartment, he asks Sheila what Sugar did to her. Sheila flashes to Sugar having her chained up in the storehouse and telling her, I am in charge now, before adding that no bone. Is indeed looking for her. By the time they do it'll be much too late. She's been hanging on to this wrathfulness for so numerous times, Sheila double-crossed her when she was supposed to be her friend. Sheila tries to free herself as Sugar goes on about having to take the raps for her crimes. She ruined her life, but that stops moment. All she could suppose about was vengeance, she did and indeed watch about the hole she was in. Sheila argues, you were arrested for what you did to Lauren Fenmore's son. Sugar smothers that none of that would have happened if not for Sheila. 
Sugar also tells her she's headed for Steffi Forrester's sand house. Steffi's going to be your first victim. Sheila yells, no. Back in the present, Sheila tells Finn and Deacon, I tried to stop her. I tried to stop Sugar from hurting Steffi and the children. To cover them from that madwoman, but she was so hung up with getting back at me, she didn't watch what she had to do. She was just determined to make me pay for it. She nearly got down with it too. Finn croons, it's okay, Cleric holds her. At the precipice house, Steffi tells Liam that Becky is dropping off Kelly soon, she's really agitated to see him. She tells him he's an inconceivable father and she knows he's the same with Beth. Liam jokes that between her and Ivy his pride's about to pop. Steffi says the difference is that she's not trying to date him. She's right about one thing, he's inconceivable. Liam quips, do not let Finn hear you say that. Steffi admits she's had a weird feeling from her hubby this morning. In the history it was always about Sheila, but this time it's not because she's gone ever. In Deacon's apartment, Sheila tells Deacon and Finn further about Sugar's plan. She flashes to Sugar in the storehouse saying she was going to strangle Steffi and those brats of her. Everyone's going to suppose you killed your son's woman. The mama of your grandson. When she's done, they ll cinch Sheila over and throw down the key. Her precious son will not want anything to do with her ever again. Sheila tells Sugar, you do not look like me, but you do not sound like me. Sugar clears her throat and says, how about now? Sheila gops. She tells Sugar that she can do whatever she wants to her, but do and detriment Steffi and those precious children. Do and hurt them. Sugar dons a mask and says, tonight, Steffi Forrester dies and you spend the rest of your miserable life behind bars. As Sheila struggles with the leg iron, Sugar kicks her a couple of times. As she leaves the storehouse, Sheila cries, no, do and hurt Steffi, no. She screams for help. Back in the present, Sheila flinches at the memory and tells Finn she loves him, Steffi, and the children further than herself. Finn says Steffi is fine and they ll explain that latterly. Right now they've to take care of her. She's been scarified and brutalized by this woman, but through it all her love for him, his woman. And children. It shows Sheila says, I would do anything to cover you, Steffi, and those children, son. Finn tells her, I believe you, mom. I believe you. They embrace.